Hello everyone, my name is Andrea, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us in the Babe Cave. <laughs> and if you're not new, thanks for watching. This is a video that I hate to make, but I don't want others to make the same mistakes that I have. So, as you saw in the thumbnail, I was scammed. Well, a little bit of intro for you is I bought a bag at a thrift store and it turned out to be a fake and I thought it was real. I mean, when I buy fakes, which I don't typically buy fakes, <laughs> I know that they're fake, but this one tricked me and I couldn't take it back and uh, I wanted to share some tips and tricks and maybe help someone out there as well in case you get scammed like I did. And I was reading about how come thrift stores can sell fake bags, you know, Gucci, Prada, Louis, because we all have seen them. We've all seen them at the thrift stores and Jackie from Jack's Bag Attack said that you could prosecute um, with the police, make a police report. Well, I'm not so sure of that because the loophole for these thrift stores selling these is that they call them donated bags or donated purses. So they're not actually telling you that they're selling a Louis Vuitton or a Gucci or a Prada. They are just reselling a donated purse. So that's why I think that you have to be careful as the consumer of what you're getting and do every kind of research while you're in there. That's what you have these phones, these smartphones for. And I have one and I was still taken. Online as well, you can get scammed out of purses on Mercari, eBay, Fashion File, all those places on the internet where you can't touch and you can't feel it and you're hoping that it's real. I mean, everyone has probably ended up with some kind of fake or they thought it was real at the time so you have to be really careful when you're shopping online you know ask questions if it's a reseller ask for you know serial codes and date codes and any kind of marking that would show that it's authentic uh, i'll show you in this next clip a close-up of the bag and the reasons why I thought it was real and yeah the the outcome is well I have this bag now and I don't know what to do with it and so if you're interested in that then stay tuned for the clip that's coming up of the scammed bag that I got Possibly this is what I got scammed on. Um, this is what I thought was real. So I don't mind fakes if I'm intentionally buying fakes. <laughs> but I actually thought this was real and I could resell it. But, and I'll show you why. Um, but yeah, it has, you know, this little lock right here. I think I have it unlocked. Yeah. So it says Prada on it. Again, this is not real. And this right here says Prada. It has leather on this zipper pull. Yeah, there's like a little bit. I think this is real leather. I'm not doubting that this is real leather. Um, here's the interior. It says Prada. This fabric to me probably should have been a giveaway. It's not very good quality but it says Prada <laughs> so there's that part and then here's the side it says Prada like this should have gave it away probably too and I, I pondered on this bag for a while in the thrift store <laughs> and then I ended up getting duped for like 70 bucks and so yeah I'll, and there's more to this bag I'll show you, but this is just the keys. And back here has 
it doesn't have feet on the bottom it's just shoulder bag back here so this is what got me and i researched to death <laughs> this and i couldn't get anything to pull up but i was convinced that it was real i was just convinced um here you know it, it comes with this card and it looked real <laughs> So, I've been duped, yes. And here's even this card. I mean, I, I had no idea. I was like, this looks real. Although, I should have, when I typed in the names of these cards, I should have realized nothing was coming up that looked anything like this. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I have made my own mistake of getting scammed. And I couldn't take it back, you know. A lot of times you can take this stuff back, but for some reason I could not, they would not take this back. So, yeah, unfortunately. And so then it has this buckle and it says Prada. And you open it up and then there's even Prada on here. I mean, I, I really thought this was real. So here's the interior. You know. I even looked at this tag over and over again. Just, it says Prada. I, I don't know. I was unsure, but really the authenticity of this bag should have had a number or a letter. I can't remember. There's supposed to be a tag inside for the authenticity, and it was not there. And I didn't learn that till, of course, I brought it home and paid for it. <laughs> so, yes. My mistake, I paid for it, so, yeah. Here's my scammed, thought it was real, it's fake, and I am really usually pretty good about not buying fakes, <laughs> if I'm not trying to buy fakes. Like, I thought I just won the lottery with this. <laughs> Instead, it's garbage. I, I mean, I don't even really like it, so I have never carried it. <laughs> So, yeah, it's a fake. I'm not interested in it. I don't really know what to do with it <laughs> other than, you know, maybe put it in a garage sale. I don't know. Donate it again. I don't want to donate it because then someone might think it's real again. So, yeah, there's the quandary of the scammed stupid Prada bag. <laughs> Prada. It's called Frada. <laughs> So, anyway, and just remember when you're thrifting or buying stuff online, if if something is not popping up, with even if you've got everything you think you need, if it's not popping up to a bag that looks like that card or that tag, don't buy it. <laughs> don't buy it. Just leave it there. Because, you know, it's just not worth losing money over if... If you want a fake, then go for it. Um, and it's not a big deal, then that's fine with you, then then do it. But for me, when I'm trying to find real, and then I end up getting suckered into like 70 bucks, that really irks me. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and enjoyed this video. And let me know, what, have you gotten scammed on a on a bag that you thought was real. I know um, Dee Dee Bean just did a video of her doonies that she got scammed on. Um, so I'll link her down below. Um, go ahead and subscribe to her. She's a, a new YouTuber out there. But yeah, it happens to all of us. I think it happens to all of us. But anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye!